I have actually two ideas, totally mm -hmm. different. I have tried so desperately to let go of them and I just can't. And I can go for a very long stretch of time where I don't think about it. And then something will happen. And I'm like, so <clears throat> one is global and the other one is actually where I, I grew up. So uh, in Illinois, and I am having a meeting with that mayor next week. So the best way I can let go of it is to give it to somebody else. That anyway, good morning. It's 8.01 at the intersection, and it's so good to see everybody this morning. And uh, I don't know about you, but this week has been so beautiful outside. Um, you know, if you kind of like move your brain matter around, you could almost think it was spring, right? Like the beginning of, right? Like, ooh, spring, but it's not, but it's been a beautiful week. So um, I've really enjoyed the weather, and it's just been beautiful. So um it's good to see you this week. Um, I'm wondering, do, does anybody have any announcements? It's been a little bit since we've had announcements. I usually throw in some announcements and then we jump in. But any announcements that other people might want to give? So... Um, I do know, and I will keep announcing our multi-faith kind of gatherings that are coming up because we've got some coming. Um, uh, you know, I have not, like in an email yet, heard about the memorial service for those San Antonians who have died this year without uh, permanent shelter in their life. It's always on the longest night of the year, which is December 21st, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock. I think it's Milam Park that's outside of Santa Rosa Hospital. Um, so it's a little unusual that I haven't seen anything, but uh, I'll send that out because that's that's just around the corner. Uh, and then we have several in January, the Martin Luther King um, multi-faith interfaith gathering on uh, January 14th at 4.30. Um, then on the 21st is the first inaugural Festival of Faiths. And uh, if Wendy's on here, I sure would like to he have people hear more about it, but I don't see her listed yet. Um, 1 to 6 p.m., I believe, at the University of Incarnate Word. And then there's the annual blessing and of the peacemakers and announcement of the San Antonio Peace Laureate on January 28th at 3 o'clock. So they're all different feel. They're not like remotely the same thing, you know? So it's very three different multi-faith gatherings and ways we celebrate our relationships in working together um, and serving the most vulnerable of needs uh, in our city, but also strengthening our relationships as well. So you're welcome to come to any or all of those. Um, and any last thoughts before we give Sharam the, the entire Zoom room? Um, bless his heart. He's going to say, you know, I wish I'd had more than two days notice. Yeah, we heard that last week from Rajam, right? So just so you know, the upcoming two weeks, they've had two weeks notice. So, right? <laughs> Expectations. Um, but I'm kind of a fan of not a lot of preparation for our presentations, especially when we get into maybe later years, because we've been preparing our whole life with this information. And Shahram, you've been living this your whole life. And so, you know, it just seems more natural when it just comes from us. And, um, and Shahram, we want, we want to know you better. And we want to know your tradition, the Mandayan tradition. And so I know he's going to share that with us because not Mary, not everybody knows of this tradition. And uh, our man in white shows up everywhere. And um, so today, the, our man in white is going to share with us about the, the healing traditions within the Mandayan tradition. Um, so, Sharam, I'm handing it over to you. Thank you for this morning. 
بشميهن تي ربي اسوثنا ويلخون يوم همشا وشبا بريخا طاولا وخون Good morning everyone that's it was in Mandayan good morning everyone and very good Thursday to everyone uh, my name is Shahram about Farzade I'm Mandayan I'm about 13 years in San Antonio in United States First, I would like to introduce a little bit about the Mandayan. I know most of the people, they don't hear about the Mandayan because we are not converting, not including uh, any war in our faith. We're not allowed to make war or fight or kill. We don't have any fancy temple. That's, we call it Mandi in Mandayan. To the people, they see some ancient art or ancient building, and they said, oh, that's belief to that's faith or religion. We don't have any um, fancy building, like structure, gold, or like that. Uh, only the our temple, we real temple, is built with the clay and straw, and that's every year should be repaired. We're not involved in government, not power. We don't look for power. That's, that's why most of the people, in that's for reason, they don't know us. They don't hear about us. And that's the Mandayan. That's, they say about us, the first people, they believe in God. The last agnostic alive. The last one, they still, they are alive. The Mandayan, it's a little brief I said about, it's, we believe the Manda is in the Mandayan language, is mean knowledge. And the Manda Adhei is mean name of angel, is knowledge of the God. We believe knowledge of the God, the angel, Manda Adhei, bring the book and the knowledge is give it to Adam. Uh, I tried to send uh, to the meeting the photo, and but I cannot. They said just the house can send photo. I don't know why. Well, if you if you'd like us to show a photo, we can do that. How how I do it? Um, is it on your computer? Uh, actually, it's I use my phone and it's in the phone and uh, it's a share and I use for the Zoom, but when I want to send it, it said okay, only the host can share in this meeting. Hang on, I can change that. Okay. I just changed it so that you can show it. So, okay. see what happens. Let me see. Okay. There. And zoom. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's the name of the book. It's Genza Rabba. It means great treasure. And great treasure in the Mandayan, it means the knowledge. The knowledge in the Mandayan is the power, is everything. Is everything starts with the knowledge of God. Everything is built with the knowledge. And that's the book what we believe, and it's two parts, the right side and left side. The right side is talk about the creation, the creation of all the world, the all universe, and the, and the earth also. The left side speak about the soul, the spirit, how they create the spirit and send it to the Adam, to the earth. In, in, in the Mandayan, we start about the healing and the everything is about the human. Start from when the fetus it's inside the mother. We believe they grow up 
the body and the soul together. We take care of the mother by the food, the special diet, the mineral, protein, vitamin. That's all because the, the mother should have enough for two people. And the same time, we say to the mother should be more care about her uh, stress and other things because everything is will be go to the fetus. That's start from there. The the fetus when it's grow up by the mother is get everything from the mother. But when we get to the, this new life, we need more care. In the Mandayan, the child until 15 years, it's with the, with the family, with the parents' responsibility. It means whatever the child mistake up to 15 years is not the child mistake, it's the parents' mistake, because we don't educate the child perfectly. If, let we say, if there is punishment, they, we should not punish the child because do something wrong. We have to punish the parents. If that's up to 15 years. That's about the, the how we should take care of the children, how we teach them, how we educate them about the life, about everything. In, in our life, we, we get a lot of problems. That's the life. But that will be two side life. One, it's hurt our body and one, our mental. The mental also is get hurt two things. We talk about today about healing, mental healing. Sometimes we have a job and we lose a job. We get sad. That's some kind of sadness. And sometimes we lose uh, one we believe when we love it. We love one, the person we love. That's different sadness. For the for the people, they get sadness in Mendayan, We have two sides is the, use the nature and use the praying. The praying, we have daily praying in home five times a day. That's, we prepare our us with the like washing hand, face, feet, legs, and all of them. And we pray for ourselves to God take care of us to not doing anything wrong and we be healthy in our life. Take care of our ourselves. Said, "Kun man darf mut mari pagri al qatli nishlam zakaya admuma litri." Everyone take care of themselves. They will be safe in this world, and the God blessing them. The spirit and the soul in the Mandayan is two sides, two things. We believe the body, the soul, and the spirit, spirit is the three in the, together we built our self. And that's all with the praying, we can gather the soul and the spirit to get together and will be safe of the life because the spirit is want us to be everything good and the so the the soil want to do everything in this life in the material life in the earth we try with the praying to connect that two together to get that the balance of life between the soul and the spirit and we get that balance that will be the the all the mental will be safe
When someone gets hurt, we recommend to get more close with the praying. The praying is a kind of meditation. The meditation with the praying is help us to rebuild our strength. And that's is get to the more the water. The water in the Mandayan is not only something moving and it's uh, just material. The water is the Mandayan is a person alive, a live person. The person can hear, can feel, and can cure the people. I think I can send the like ten second movie of the water. Is is not get that one. Okay, I can't send it. Okay. The water is, when we want to get to the water, we ask for permission. Talk to the water. And we ask for healing us. The, okay. And that starts when we are a little child. The, the baptism is get us to the water and give us the What a beautiful photo. Yeah. I tried because few photos I try to send them to you see them, but I tried to send it like 10 seconds about the water that was recorded, but unfortunately I can. Just I can photo. Back to size. Water, the vision cover his face. That's what we believe. The vision man in this time, he is between the love of hell and the, the other life, if we say the man or the angels. That's why he's not human and he's not angel. He's in the between. He's the connector, connecting us between the connector between us and the angels. He pray for us and we pray for ourselves. That's the kind of the medication inside the water. And we ask the water to healing us and we ask the angels to give us more strength in life. And get into for baptism. The baptism on for him for many different kinds, but today we just about the healing. Mm -hmm.
This is all about the baptism. Side. Inside the water is about five minutes. Outside the water, it's about minutes. That's all we see when we pray. We think just of the life. That's connected. The the handles. We believe in this time we connect oh, it's connector. It's, it's that's the area we get baptism, we believe. It's the angels of us. Because when we get out of the water, we say greeting to the angels in the get out of the water. So that's area of the baptism. We're going to see it. We greeting to the angels and ask their forgiveness or their help. And we sit there about 40 minutes. We pray for ourselves. And we pray for our God, all the humans. That's section 40 minutes. The water is healing the people. That's what we believe. The, everything, the life in this world, starts with the water. We are like kind of water. Our 80% of our body is water. That's why we connect to the water. And we healing with the water. The praying in the Let me say that in the Mandayan, when the, someone is too ill, too sick, and they are not be longer alive, like maybe one day or two days, we should keep them before pass away. Like the baptism is not, we get started before we leave this world. So the prayer for some people, they get three times this of hospital. Saram, I think we're having difficulties with your um, internet connection. I I ha I have been following. I know everyone's being patient, and we have been picking up parts, but. Um, there it seems to be getting worse instead of better i i'm so sorry to say that um but i, I what i try to do is um sum up what i've heard and maybe others can add to that i know some came in a little bit later but what i i hear from the mandayan tradition that the the care of um, the baby in the mother is is part of that preparing even for healing and wholeness, but care for the mother and then of course for the child um, and that responsibility and, and nurturing that growth, but also as, then as adult, the responsibility is what I heard of care of self and um, and the three components of body, soul, and spirit, and, and, and bringing those into, I don't know, balance or harmony is what I'm hearing. 
the spirit, it sounds as um, that divine part of us and the soul, what's here on earth and, and bringing those together with the body. Uh, prayer, uh, I hear, is like essential in the, the healing process and wholeness, as well as it, water. Uh, and in one, some of the research that I have done, um, that how important water is in the Mandayan tradition, and then baptism, which, oh my gosh, the slides that you've shown us are really beautiful, especially the one of the, the little one, such a beautiful photo. Um, so it, it's sounding to me like, you know, the healing is, you know, a lifelong practice from even before birth in the caring by community, it almost sounds like to me, and that nurturing forward. And then as we're older, that responsibility of caring for self. Um, so those are the things I heard. I don't know if, if Sharam, you want to interject and hopefully we can hear, but if, if others have heard something that I didn't quite hear, um, if you would add to my summary. Um, and it was great to find out too that Sharam, that you've, you've been in San Antonio for, I think I heard 14 years, 13 years. And um, I've often wondered how long has that guy been around? Um, and I'm uh, also just kind of wondering how large the Mandayan uh, community is here in San Antonio. Um, I mean, I hope that you have community around you um, and with you here. And I know you have your family, but um, others that do you want to interject what, what you heard or questions that you might have? And we're going to trust that uh, Sharam's connection is going to be strong enough to, to finish some of those smaller conversations. Others? Did I kind of sum up what you heard? I was listening carefully because I want to know. Yeah. Um, I am really impressed. And I've had this conversation before with Sharon with their emphasis on peace. Um, I think that is a real invitation to all of us as people of faith, that we respect each other, we do not destroy each other. I so appreciate the witness of the Mandean community. And when I was doing other research in Iraq, I had an opportunity to meet um, a Mandean there. And so anyway, thank you for being among us in San Antonio. Thank you. And I'm glad you mentioned that, Martha Ann, because that was also earlier on about not participating in war and, um, you know, like what kind of amazing peace plan that would be if all people of faith just decided not to kill each other. Right. Yes. There is a peace plan. <laughs> just that. Right. Um, I'm going to take just a brief pause because it's 829 and I we always pause in respect for people who do have other things scheduled. Um, next week, we will have somebody from within the Jewish tradition. Marsha, and the following week, we'll have Janet with us um, reflecting on healing from the Buddhist tradition. And I, I know that for some, um, you know, multi-faith relationships and can be a struggle, you know, like how true am I being to my own faith, right? Or, but, you know, in living su in such a multi-diverse, multicultural world. I mean, it's all becoming more and more that, but the United States was founded in, kind of in that way that people can come. If nothing else, I think it's important that we know 
uh, about each other and um, and what our practices are like. And always remembering that the one thing all world religions have in common uh, is the golden rule, that ethic of reciprocity. Um, we could go into another whole conversation right now. We're not going to, but another whole conversation of the context that we find ourselves in these days. And, and back to that, wouldn't that be a peace plan if all the faith traditions and religions remember that ethic of reciprocity to treat others the way we wish to be treated and equally not to treat others in ways that we do not wish to be treated. And we can apply that, right, to things that are happening today in our world. What would happen if, if all of our faith traditions could remember that and, and, and do our best to walk there? Um, so Billy Cox, that was my sermon in case you didn't catch it. Anyway, we were talking about sermons earlier, but I wasn't planning it, but I sure wish and pray and hope um, that some of that move more strongly among us. And I know that it's through people here. I'm still going on, Billy, I'm sorry, but people here are so committed and working on that. And there are so many people around the world who are, right? And um, so I'll leave it at that. And I hope that um, you all can come in the next couple of weeks as well. Um, and we're going to come back to you, Sharon. Uh, I also want to note that we will be meeting that week between Christmas and New Year's on that Thursday. Uh, we always have the only Thursday we've ever taken off is Thanksgiving. And uh, I have to say too, those Thursdays, that last Thursday of the year, most surprisingly, I have to say, have been some of the most beautiful. <laughs> um, I can't even tell you why. I do remember one year, I, I couldn't find anybody to come that morning to give the briefing. And we had one of the most beautiful conversations and sharings. And so um, just to note on your calendar, there's no discussion about canceling it or rescheduling or any of those other things. We meet whoever can, and as we do every Thursday morning. So um, so any thoughts on coming back here to Shavram and um, his sharing with us? Is there anything, Shavram, I, I know that you were trying so faithfully. Um, is there anything else in particular that you, you need for us to hear about healing from within your tradition? uh maybe about when we lost someone mm -hmm. we not go to cemetery we not visit the cemetery when we lost someone <clears throat> the cemetery for us is just like dust we we try to connect with the spirits by the praying we do a special praying for the spirit by preparing a special food, and we pray in that praying. We pray for ourselves and for the, the spirit of that person we lost. And that's why we, that's why we try to healing ourselves to that, get that strength to lost the person. It's not give that, uh, the, uh, us that much sadness. With the praying for us person that's the connection we try to connect to the spirit not going to cry in the cemetery or sit in the cemetery because we believe there is nothing that is finished we believe the body is is the respect until that the spirit is is like you said that you have a, a ring a diamond big diamond in it we respect the ring because the diamond. And when they lost the diamond, no value for the ring. It's the spirit like the big diamond in that ring. That's why we 
always when we remember our last one, like my myself, I pray every day for my father, my mother, to remember them and pray for them every day. And that's why I I get myself more uh, strength and more health. That we say that's a, a one way or for the people. There is many many things if I want to say, but I try to say like shortly. <clears throat> that's I was saying about the people. They said the, they're gonna pass away in the hospital. We bring them home, we get baptism, and they get back. And I know a person three times get to the hospital, and they discharge. They said one day not more get alive. And again, after baptism, we pray for the person, person praying for themselves, and they get back, and they live over 20 years. That's a believing of spirit and uh, the belief and praying. That's the connection. And that, that, um, the, if, that if image of to, the... Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Okay. When when we want to be happy, we should we should see the people happy. That's the connection. If we want to be successful in our life, we have to wish success for the other people. That's the way as uh, the best way of the healing. If if I just think about myself, that is not healing. If I want to help the people then that's help come back to me. If the I see the people happy, then I get happy. If I see the people healthy, the health come back to me. That's the kind of healing. If you want to get good health, you should help. You should be connected with the people. You should get involved with the people they need help. That's, that's the way we, with the human, that's why we are as a human. If we said we are human, that's the why the God sent us here to help each other, to take care of each other, not only thinking about ourselves. <clears throat> yeah, you want to say something? Yeah. Well, now I, I want to say something else, but what I think you've just described is taking the... Um, golden rule that ethic of reciprocity to even another level so you know that hoping for or um extending whatever that is that wellness that success for others um you know is like for me is just even a, a deeper uh reflection of you know treating others the way we wish to be treated to also hope for that in others and bring that to others at our best as well um which is which is not only beautiful but um it seems essential to the you know the healing even of the world itself and all the humans in it um and not just humans, you know, to want our planet and our air and our trees and our water, right? That, um, I appreciate that, hearing that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other comments, Sharam, or anyone else? Any questions or um, insights? I mean, I've had some, you know, insights listening today. Um, I do see uh, in the chat, Martha Ann, thanks for such deep wisdom. And that's that's what I've experienced today, too. Some, some deep wisdom. And, um, and when you start to think about it, all of what we're hearing in, in all of these traditions, it really isn't rocket science. It's not complexity. It's um, 
it's more basic. I was going to say simpler than that, but we all know that these these actions aren't always simple for us to do. But um, so basic, so basic. Any other last thoughts? And we'll sign off. And I will see you all next Thursday. And we will be hearing about healing from um, the Jewish tradition. So I look forward to that and seeing you then. Have great weekends. Be safe. Thank care for you. yourself. Care for others. <laughs>